Lissa, thank you so much for being on AM Buffalo. We are talking tools because it is May, it is Home Improvement Month. But the one topic that I think people need to really think about when they're going into their projects is choosing the right tool for the right project. How often do you see people coming in and saying, oh, Watch job, I need some help because I just didn't start the right way. What happens a lot of the times, especially when we're getting into springtime and we had all these leaves that were stuck underneath the bushes and we have from the blizzard, a lot of people have damages to their yard, to their bushes, to their trees and oh, things yes. like that. And people want to get these things removed and guess what, arborists are booked out until September at this point. So I want to do it at home. Everybody immediately says, I need a chainsaw. Oh. And they come and they get a chainsaw and they come and they come back within 24 hours because they're like, well, I popped the chain and I don't know what's wrong and I, I just wanted to take down the street. Okay, hold on, take a deep breath. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have started with a chainsaw. Oh. Um, chainsaws are best used if you're actually cutting down a tree from the trunk. Oh. What a lot of people tend to do is, oh, well, I have bushes and they're really thick and I don't want to spend all day trying to cut them down. Chainsaws are not meant to be pointed towards the ground. They're not meant to be used on roots. You can't get dirt inside the chain. It gums up all the oil. Not the, not the tool to use. Okay. Um, the good thing about the tool library is if you come in and you say, hey, I need a chainsaw, my first question is gonna be, what are you doing? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Absolutely. Um, because in a situation like that, what you actually wanna use is a reciprocating saw with a pruning blade on it. Um, that tool, we have both corded and uh, cordless. So you have a battery one if you're trying to work outside and you don't wanna worry about running an extension cord. Um, and the pruning blades specifically have different sized teeth on them. Makes it really easy to get through both small and bigger vines and roots and things like that. And it goes into the dirt without actually hurting the tool at all. What are projects that you see a lot of people coming in for, say, come springtime? So the weather changes and everybody immediately says, I wanna get outside. Um, and that is when uh, we start working on wait lists for some of our outdoor items. Uh, we do carry rototillers, we have edgers, we have lawn mowers. Um, we have your weed whackers, as well as all of your little hand tools that you need to get out, dig your trenches, um, put in new flowers, and, and also get rid of all your weeds and everything like that as well. Um, and then when we're talking about home improvement stuff, pressure washers, let me tell you, it is the best tool in the tool library when you're like, I just want to get it clean. Um, and we have people use them for all different kinds of reasons. I want to clean my driveway, I want to clean my porch, I want to clean my siding, I want to get rid of my, uh, clean out my trash cans all of these things um, and you can use just the one tool for it. Talk about saving money. A lot of times, right, we have five or six different kinds of saws so we think that they're sort of interchangeable. Um, but a jigsaw shouldn't be used for the same things that a saw is always used for um, or a reciprocating saw. So these things are things that you should know ahead of time and instead of going out and buying a reciprocating saw and then a saw saw and then a, a multi oscillating tool or all of these things, what you could do instead is come into the tool library and with that membership that you have, rent the tool that you think you need, and before you even leave the building, go, you know what, actually, I'm not real sure about this. Could you help me, you know, are you, is this a tool I should use to do this job? And we're, we're gonna help you with it. Whether that means we know exactly what the answer is or we're gonna find the answer for you, we would rather you, instead of making the expensive mistake of buying a tool you don't need, borrow a tool that might work. And when you come back and it, and you know, hey, you know what? This didn't really work for what I needed it for. Let's go back to the drawing board together. You didn't waste $150 on a tool that's gonna sit in your garage that you missed the return date for. That's so true. The tool library as a nonprofit is here to make your lives easier. You don't have the junk in the garage. You don't have the junk in the basement. Um, and you don't have to go over to your neighbor's house and be like, hey, I know I used it last year, but could I please just use your pressure washer one more time? For that low, low cost of that yearly membership, you're able to come in here and borrow that pressure washer as many times as you need it over the season. And it makes it really easy for everyone to use. Lissa, thank you so much for this. Everyone is going to have a fantastic Home Improvement Month because of the tool life. Absolutely, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying these segments. They're so fantastic. She taught me so much. And next week, easy projects you can definitely DIY and when to call a professional.